Hey there friends, good day to you. Do you want to learn about inline components and machines in visual components? Well stay with me for a few minutes then. Reza is here. Welcome. Inline is a traditional way of using components to define material flow. Now what I'm talking about is basic conveyors and also some inline machines. Not about physics path, physics conveyors or process modeling. Those have their own tutorials in our academy, which the address is right academy.visualcomponents.com. So what I talked about is the conveyors folder. There are a few manufacturers already and also machine inline. There are also few machines that are considered this inline machines. Let me go to visual components folder and double click. And if I double click again here, you see that the second conveyor is imported automatically connected. This green arrow here, it's basically showing that there was an interface that was known and it got connected. So there is also a dynamic arrow showing that these two guys know each other. And if I choose interact, I can change the length of the conveyor automatically. With PMP tool, we are able to basically use these interfaces to connect to each other. Let me delete this guy. And if I go to feeders and double click on this advanced feeder, this conveyor, let me attach it and let's press play so we can see that parts are being produced and sent on the conveyor automatically. If I go back to conveyors and visual components folder, let's double click on conveyor X divert. And if I press play again, you see that parts are already flying on the conveyors. And what is the rule here? How they are divided between these three way? If I choose the conveyor and write down, there is a routing rule. So let's see what's the rule right now. It's a cyclic rule. One's right, one straight and one to left. There are other type of rules as well. You can set a capacity rule, fixed rule, percentage or so on. To learn more about this, again, please visit our academy. Also, conveyors can take processors. What are processors? Processors are like sensors. So, for example, you can attach a sensor over here or you can attach a motor on this conveyor. And some of them are under conveyor utilities. For example, this bladder stopper. Let me attach it over here. So we just get an experience with attaching something on the conveyor. Okay, that's what I wanted to talk to you about in this video. Hope you got something out of it and please feel free to go on our academy and watch other videos. Have a great day and bye for now.